had a little bit of extra time and I want to do a quick pickup video. I don't have a whole lot of stuff to show you, but the things I do have are really worthwhile to make the video. So I'm going to jump right into it. Um, first off, I went to a local game store that's about 15 miles away from where I live. Um, it's a much better than the one that's in my hometown, so I go... Um, I've been going there recently. I, I just kind of found out about it, but they have really good prices. So I took a box of just random stuff in to uh, get some trading credit because I'd already seen some stuff that I knew I wanted to get there. So essentially I took this big box in and all they took from this box was a Sega Game Gear that was actually a double, a power charger for it, um, five Game Gear games and they all were sports games. They took a PS2 memory card, a PlayStation controller, and a uh, Pokemon game for the Advance. I don't remember exactly what Pokemon game it was. I didn't really want it. Um, I knew I could get some good trading credit for it, and I only paid a dollar ninety nine for it at Goodwill. So that's everything they took from me, and they actually gave me twenty eight dollars of store credit, which I was actually pretty happy to get. So um, what I got with that was this game that I never really heard of, but it's called Deadly Arts for the Nintendo sixty four, and they had it marked at two ninety nine. But the um, the gem that I got there was. Secret of Mana. Um, the label's in pretty good shape. There's not really any tears or anything. Um, and they had it for $24.99. So I basically asked them if they could take um, and make sure I could get these two games for $28 plus tax. So I, they covered my tax, so I didn't have to worry about providing any of my own cash for that. Um, the second thing I got was I went to a disc replay and I took in basically a bunch of crap. This is what it was. These were things that I've been to like four or five game stores. The stores haven't taken the stuff that I've been trying to get rid of. So this was all the leftover crap. And um, there was a couple Nintendo 64 controllers, um, a memory card, like a Nintendo 64, just an off-brand. Um, just, just a bunch of stuff that I didn't want that was all doubles. And then I also had Final Fantasy X that I paid a dollar for to garage sale. I decided to go ahead and um, resell that and a Sonic game for the GameCube. I think it was, I don't remember which, which Sonic game it was, but um, I paid a dollar fifty for it at the Goodwill. So I turned around and resold that one as well. And I was actually only expecting to get like ten bucks for the stuff. I figured they wouldn't give me anything. I didn't even think the controllers worked because some of the other stores that I'd taken it to refused to even take it. So um, when they told me that they were going to give me $28 or er, $26 in store credit, I was extremely happy about that. So I, I looked around the store and I found something pretty quickly that I knew I wanted and I was waiting for them to total up what I was going to get and this guy walks in. Kind of longer hair. Um, I could just tell that he was a retro gamer. I don't know what it was about him but I knew. And he starts looking at the NES games which sit right above the Super Nintendo games in the case. So I instantly went over and got somebody. I was like, hey, can you get this game out for me? Um, I'm pretty sure I'm going to get it as long as I can get enough store credit. And um, so they got it out, and as soon as I took it out, the guy's like, hey, what game is that? And I was like, it's Final Fantasy II. And they only had $14.99 on it, which I thought was a fantastic price to begin with. And when they told me that I had $26 in store credit, I instantly got it up, uh, picked this up. The other guy, you could tell he was just disappointed. He's like, oh, do they have another one of those? I was like, no, that's the only one they got in their case. So um, I kind of nabbed it before he got his hands on it. But I, I saw it first, so it's not like I stole anything from him. But I knew he was going to try to get it if he saw it. So I went ahead and got that for myself before he could take it. So for $15 that I didn't even use any of my cash for, I still have like 10 bucks of store credit, I got Final Fantasy II. That same day, I stopped at a Goodwill, and um, I didn't really see anything. There wasn't anything in the case where they normally keep their games. Um, no, Nothing special, really. But um, I started looking through the CDs, and I eventually found this game, Legend of the Dragoon. And I used to own this game, and I sold it when I liquidated all my old video game stuff. And um, I was happy to see it. The, I mean, it's got stickers all over it, but that's kind of common for um, the games that I find out in the wild anyway. But um, 
I was looking, I open it up and the first thing I notice is there is no disc one. It is completely missing, but it does have the manual, which the uh, manual is actually in pretty good shape. So you can see that. No uh, tears, water damage, nothing like that, so I was happy. And it did have disc two, and um, it had disc three and four as well. So the only uh, game disc missing was number one. And there happened to be two PS2s in the case, and I asked them if they could open it up so I could open the PS2s. They were both slim models, so it was just easy just to pop them right open. And I was just hoping that maybe I could find disc one in there, but they weren't. Someone must have stolen it, which they said they've been having a problem with people stealing the disc. So that was a little disappointing. But the uh, price they had on this game was... Um, Two ninety nine. So I asked this lady, I was like, um, you're missing disc one, and that's kind of the, the one you really need to start the game off to play. I was like, is there anything you can do for me since it's not in there? So she took it back to a manager, and she came out like two or three minutes later and said the manager said they would do half off. And it wasn't the caller of the week, so I was happy to get a half off game. So it was originally going to be a dollar, or it was originally three dollars, so I was going to get it for a dollar fifty. So I took it to the register. And the other, the lady explained it to the person at the register what was going on, and um, I don't know if you can tell, but you can't really see the price. So she was like trying to look in this crack when all you have to do is open it, and then you can clearly see the price right there. But she was like trying to like look into there for some reason, and she's like, it looks like it says two ninety nine, but I'm not sure, so I'm just going to charge you a dollar for it. So I got the game for a dollar. She did dollar ninety nine for me and then half off that. So I only paid a dollar for it, which I thought that was still a good deal, even though it's missing disc one. I'm sure I'll be able to find that disc at some point. Now, probably the best pickup that I've had in quite a while is actually a system. And I was at another Goodwill, um, a different one, and I came across this which is a 3DO system. It didn't have any controllers, which is kind of a bummer, no games, nothing like that. But I only paid $5.99 for it, which I was extremely happy to do that. I mean, I don't, I'm not sure what they're going for right now, but I know they're a little more rare, and it's definitely worth more than $6. Um, I used my own PS1 um, cord to turn it on and everything. It does work as far as that goes. It recognized that I had an audio CD, but I have no idea if it will actually play it or not. Um, so yeah, I don't really know anything else about it. I've never really owned one, so I'm looking forward to getting some games and everything. So uh, if you like this video, go ahead and like it. Um, thank you all for subscribing. If you're not subscribed already, go ahead and subscribe. I don't make a ton of videos, but I try to get some out there uh, every couple weeks or so. Um, it's just kind of a time time thing so